Welcome to the next video in our new series. In this series, we are asking 12 different groups of RVers some common questions asked to us by you, our subscribers. Don't forget that if you have a question that you'd like us to ask in our next series, make sure you drop it in the comments below. That's right. And if we don't answer that question in this series, we will definitely get to it the next time. Yeah, I think we're coming up with some more, or I should say you guys are coming up with some more crafty yeah. um, questions for us, Great our full-time RVers. So yeah, looking forward to that. And if we run into you on the road, we might ask you to be in our next video as well, because we're not just asking um, content creators. We also want you. So be aware of that you might be getting a tap on your shoulder and want you to be recorded and make sure you've at least taken a shower and done your hair because it might be on the spot just saying uh, yeah you never know you never know all right so let's get down to our next question okay this question is a very easy one for us the question is what do you miss about sticks and bricks other than people because we all miss people yeah. Hi, I'm Lance. I'm Flo. And we're wheeling with the Wendy's. We started out four months ago uh, with our full-time RV travel. We had a different rig at the beginning. We were traveling with a 2019 Momentum 376TH. It's a grand design. Uh, we got out on the road and realized that the rig we had, which was only a foot shorter, just wasn't working for the size because it had a full toy hauler garage in it. This layout, which is a little different and kind of unique, I don't think there's only a couple couple brands that make one similar mm -hmm. to this, has a small what they call toy box, which is big enough just to hold a golf cart or a motorcycle or you know things like that. We happen to have a Harley that we ride with and part of our name wheeling with the Wendy's came from being out on the road wheeling with our rig and also we're going to be doing videos and stuff like that on riding our bike. I absolutely love the rig uh, primarily because we work full time both of us and we wanted to have it feel more like a home and to have the living space and we do have a Facebook page and we use that to post our videos and photos of our journey as we go through the states and attractions. Don't miss a thing about sticks and bricks. <laughs> I do I do not do anything for me is the actual comfort of knowing the area, grocery stores. It's been one of the hardest things about being on the road is even going to a Walmart. They're all set up different, even though you think they aren't. Everything is hard to find. I can't tell you how many times I've called her. I can't find your <laughs> damn cups you're looking for. Not having to rely on a GPS just to go out to the store. Thing the I flip really... side to it is that we've met probably more people and made more friends in the last four months than we have all our lives yes. and that's huge so before we hit the road we were living in a four bedroom house uh, we had a lot of stuff uh, i had two atvs a motorcycle a scooter obviously that stuff doesn't fit in here so we had to really downsize in a pretty big way uh, at times I, I think i have missed some of that stuff it would have been cool to, to take the atvs out and go riding but for the most part we've just had so much fun living in the rv we really haven't missed too yeah. much about about the uh, sticks and bricks house yeah same same for me uh well i'm not full-time yet but um i like the idea of having less things you know t i like to live minimal so i've been trying to get rid of stuff at home and i like the idea of this just a few things and because i don't need a lot you know what i mean to be able to live comfortably I don't have a generator, so whatever electricity I get here is from the solar, so I kind of like the idea of just simple living. I don't miss anything about sticks and bricks, do you? What? <laughs> Can you think of anything? Like that? Uh, let me think. I don't miss mowing. I don't miss edging and weeding and blowing. I don't miss neighbors el elbows away. I don't miss... Uh, you can't park in your street. You can't park here. You know, put the boat in the driveway. You can't do this. You can't do. I don't Homeowners know. associations. No, uh, I don't what think do I miss, miss anything. Do we miss anything? I don't miss no. having all the junk mail coming. I, we're honestly, done. I don't we we know, don't miss none of it. We're yeah. I don't know of anything I miss from <laughs> bricks and sticks. Of course, again, we anticipated this, so 
We miss nothing. Okay, I'm lying. We do Almost miss Almost nothing. Yeah, we do miss the backyard because Gizmo but not for us. No, not for us. For Gizmo. Because he was used to roaming and doing his business and just running free. Oh wait, maybe for us a little bit. Yeah, it is At kind of six thirty in the morning yeah. when my hair's like this and I haven't had my coffee and it's raining yeah. and he has to go out. So it's kinda of twofold. Yeah. We both kinda of miss it. Yeah. Gizmo and us. But other than that, um nothing. No, I, I would say no, I would say nothing. Because nothing. everything that I would have had in the house, we have with us on the road. We Yeah, we have everything we need. So there's really nothing else I could wish for. No, this is everything I need right here. Oh, he's See? so sucking this. up right See? now. Uh -huh, fellas, that's how you do it right there. <laughs> he's digging himself out of a hole. He's, yeah. he's trying to get to the positive. Yeah. The one thing that I miss about sticks and bricks. I know where this is going. Is a bathtub. L Lisa <laughs> had a huge garden bathtub with unlimited hot water that saw regular use for quite lengthy soaks. And it had jets. It was jetted. So I had like my own little spa. And uh, I think the last time I took a bath. <laughs> that sounds so bad, was about three years ago. So once in a while, Dan will... Uh, I do let her use the shower, though. Yeah. <laughs> he'll he'll uh, treat me to a hotel, and, uh, you know, we'll do it up. I had a nice workshop. I missed that a little bit. It's kind of difficult to do some maintenance on the road, but we seem to get by pretty well with it. Yeah, yeah. And the kitty cats, sometimes I think they miss having the big, big, wide open house where they can tear from one end of the house to the other. They do that but, here. But they do that here. Yeah, especially in the mornings. Mm -hmm. Nothing. It's the yard. Miss the yard. Internet. <laughs> Great internet, yeah, right? Yeah, great internet. <laughs> we are, I would guess, can be, can be considered, um, oh, let me see. Half-timers? Half-timers. Because <laughs> we, now, the last couple of years, we've been on the road uh, between five and seven months. Uh, we're still on our home. Um, we've done some purging. Uh, we want to downsize, but whether we still downsize all the way just to being in an RV, or whether we... Uh, still buy a smaller home uh, to come back to. Uh, that's still in debate. Mm -hmm. What we miss most about living in a sticks and bricks is probably connectivity with the internet. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we are both still working and we talked about our other business ventures and one of the things we need is the internet and I'm surprised at how dependent I am upon it because obviously we're not at an age where we grew up with that but geez, how did we function before? I yeah. mean, it's so hard to get work done when you don't have great internet. So I definitely miss that the most. I miss the most <laughs> about sticks and bricks is the bathtub. I miss my bathtub and... I have to be honest, I really don't miss my sticks and bricks. And my, I... my saltwater aquarium, but I, bought, I brought a video of it. So I play the video, so I still really have it. <laughs> I like the freedom of being on the road. I like, uh, I like sitting outside the coach. I used to like sitting on the lanai by the pool. So really it transferred very well for me. So uh, I really don't miss anything about uh, that type of lifestyle. Uh, the, I don't know, I don't miss anything. <laughs> I don't. I know. Okay. It's, we're struggling, right? I, yeah, I, I got that a bunch out. struggling is hard. I don't miss them. But uh, let's see here. What do we miss most about sticks and bricks? Other than people. Other than people. It's, um... Let me tell you, I don't miss the mortgage payment. I don't miss <laughs> doing the lawn. There's a lot of things the garage, we don't miss. Cleaning, I, yeah, I got more that I don't miss uh, than... Other than be, having a home to go home to that's, like, normal Yeah. at the time, I'm... I don't, don't miss that And maybe that it's because we've only been on the road for two months. Yeah. And maybe we'll miss something down the road. Yeah, but not, maybe. We can't think of anything right I now. I can't think of a thing. What do you? What do we miss the most about sticks and bricks? I can't think of anything. I don't miss anything about the actual sticks and bricks living itself. Full time, no worries. Internet, maybe. That's a good one. I mean, we have that now, but we do have to do a little workarounds and make it work. But. Um, you know, I, w I would say the hardest thing for me is travel days. So, you know, in Sticks and Bricks, you didn't have long seven, eight hour travel days every two weeks. Yeah. Ten days to two weeks. So that maybe. But I mean, there's really nothing. 
Yeah, as far as living in a house, a sticks and bricks versus an RV, don't miss anything. We love being able to walk out of our front door and have a new front yard every two weeks. I mean, I do kind of miss being able to take as long of a shower as I want when we don't have <laughs> sewer hookups. But, you know, that's a small price to pay for, yeah. for the kind of fun and that we're having. And when we're on full hookups, it's, it's all the showers we want that's all the right. time. That's right. What do we miss most about sticks and bricks? I think for me, it's probably just how everything in a house uh, is always on. Everything always works for the most part. I mean, it, you don't have to worry about, you know, how many amps you're pulling or how many times you're going to flush your commode or that sort of thing. And it's just, that's kind of a luxury that we all, we are all used to. And I think I miss that. I don't, I, I don't miss it such that I would want to go back, you know, but yeah. uh, that, I do miss that. Yeah, I, I agree with Al. That, that's the thing, always asking, um, is there enough water for me to take a shower now? Can I um, run the dishwasher? I mean, not the dishwasher, but can I run the hair dryer? Can I run the microwave? Um, so that and um, my dog's muddy feet. Yeah. Yeah, I missed tough. it at home. They weren't stepping out on um, grass or the RV park got muddy. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. And so yeah, all, yeah yes. Right. If I had to choose something I missed about Sticks and Bricks life, other than the people, that's a tough one because really for me, I'm a people person. So family's a big yeah, thing Yeah, I would say me. I miss uh, mowing the yard, paying the taxes. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't miss any of it, honestly. We I don't moved really a lot. either. Yeah. yeah, we moved a lot when we had a house. So we would buy a house and then sell a house every few years. Yeah. And we weren't really, we didn't have like a forever home or anything that we loved anyways. And this honestly is, feels more like home than that did. I agree. I was not surprised at these answers. No. Were you surprised? No, no, I didn't realize that so many people like baths though. <laughs> yeah, there are quite a few that Mr. Tub. I'm not a, I mean, it's all right, but. Yeah. Mm. I'm not a tough guy. I'm not either. But as you can see, those of us who have taken the leap of faith, jumped into full time, really don't miss what we had before. No, just some of the simplicity of, of having a house, you know, switches and on-demand internet and things. But we have all that on the road. Yeah. So, I mean, the answers didn't really surprise me that much. No, nope, not at all. I mean, if I were to guess 90% of what the guys were going to say, I, was, I would say I was spot on yeah. with their answers. Yeah. yeah. All right, I really hope you're enjoying this series. Um, I do want to take a minute to remind you guys that today is Friday. We're wearing our red, so don't forget red. Remember, everyone deployed on Fridays. Yep. So, but other than that, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. And make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, as thank well. Thank you for uh -huh. ah. so you got me. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. She forgot that part. Oh, and thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on, on the, the road. road. Now you got me all messed up. <laughs> See, now she's going to have the giggles. Okay. All right, so I don't know if any of you... Let me start that over. I feel like I'm like with the kid getting our strike, family photos done. Strike a pose. Oh, yes. Where they okay. do like... Let's strike a pose. <laughs> so... <laughs> got nothing? What am I supposed to say? I'm Flo. And we're wheeling, wheeling with, with the, the Wendy's. Wendy's. <laughs> we have... Start over, start over. Hi, I'm Flo. And I'm Lance. We're and... William Will. <laughs> you just want to make my blooper reel, that's all. No, I don't.